Stetson Bennett is a college football legend. He won two national championships at Georgia and was a Heisman Trophy finalist. Bennett carved out a ton of success at the collegiate level as a 25-year-old student. He's going to be remembered for his time at Georgia. He's a legend, but that doesn't mean that he's destined for success in the pros. The 2023 NFL Draft is nearing, and there are plenty of big-time quarterback prospects, and Stetson Bennett isn't one of them. His future is very unclear, but regardless of how it pans out, Stetson Bennett has an amazing story as an undersized, overlooked high schooler to a Georgia legend. Stetson Bennett was born in 1997. He's your average 25-year-old college student. Bennett was born the same year as Lamar Jackson, who was wrapping up his fifth year in the pros. Stetson Bennett was born and raised in Georgia and played high school football at Pierce County High School in Georgia. He threw for 3,700 yards, rushed for 500 yards, and had 40 total touchdowns as a senior. Bennett was only a two-star recruit and received a single FBS offer from Middle Tennessee. Most coaches believe that he was too small at just shy of 5 foot 10 and 185 pounds. Stetson Bennett decided to walk on at Georgia in 2017 where both of his parents graduated. He did not take a single snap all season but did receive praise as a scout team quarterback. After five-star Justin Fields committed to Georgia in 2018, Bennett decided to transfer to Jones Community College in Mississippi. Bennett and ended up playing in 12 games and passed for 1,840 yards and 16 touchdowns plus four touchdowns on the ground. He decided to transfer after his lone year at junior college. Bennett was considered a three-star recruit and nearly went to Louisiana, but Georgia ended up offering him a scholarship. The Bulldogs were in need of a quarterback after Justin Fields transferred to Ohio State and Bennett accepted. Bennett was the backup to Jake Fromm in 2019 and didn't see the field much to touchdowns to an interception. 2020 was a very confusing season for Georgia at quarterback. Fromm ended up foregoing his senior year to focus on preparing for the NFL draft. Wake Forest transfer Jamie Newman ended up opting out of the season because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Dewan Mathis was named the Bulldog starter, but he was eventually benched for Bennett. Stetson Bennett started in five games and passed for 1,100 yards, eight touchdowns, and six interceptions. He ended up losing the job to USC transfer JT Daniels a few months later. Bennett started the 2021 season as the backup to Daniels, but ended up starting the second game of the year after Daniels suffered an oblique injury. He ended up tossing five touchdowns in a win over UAB, tying the Bulldogs record for most in a game, and that was enough for Georgia to hand him over the starting job. Bennett threw for 2,800 yards, 29 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Georgia went 12-0 in the regular season, but did fall to Alabama in the SEC championship. That led to a lot of calls for the Bulldogs to start JD Daniels, but Georgia stuck with Bennett and it paid off. Georgia beat Michigan in the Orange Bowl to set up a rematch versus Alabama in the national championship game. The Bulldogs won 33-18 and Bennett passed for 224 yards and two touchdowns. It was Georgia's first national championship since 1980 and the Bulldogs ran it back. There was a lot of speculation that Bennett may transfer after the Bulldogs made a run at Caleb Williams in the portal, but he stuck at Georgia and was great. He passed for 4,100 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions, plus 10 rushing touchdowns. Bennett was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Georgia won a perfect 15-0, beating LSU in the SEC Championship, Ohio State in the Peach Bowl, and eventually blowing out TCU 65-7 in the National Championship. It wasn't just the biggest blowout in the National Championship game, but the biggest blowout in a bowl game in college football history. Stetson Bennett threw for 304 yards, four touchdowns, and rushed for two touchdowns, further cementing himself as a Georgia football legend. Stetson Bennett isn't exactly a sought-after 2023 NFL draft prospect. He doesn't pass really any eye test. He's a smaller guy at 5'11 and 190 pounds. There are plenty of worries about his size to start. His arm isn't going to blow anybody away. Bennett doesn't have an insane amount of talent or elite physical tools. What he does have is a resume that includes wins in 28 of 31 starts, being named a Heisman Trophy finalist, and winning back-to-back -back national 
championships at Georgia. You can't avoid that Stetson Bennett did have a lot of success at Georgia. He has good instincts and mentally is a very good quarterback, but there are plenty of valid reasons for why he isn't considered a good prospect. You may not be able to find a better spot for any college quarterback this century than Bennett had at Georgia. You never saw many weaknesses in Bennett's game because the Bulldogs were so good that it didn't matter. The amount of offensive talent he played with at Georgia is just insane. Brock Bowers and Darnell Washington are two good future tight end prospects. James Cook was his top running back in 2021, and he's now with the Bills. And Kenny McIntosh has been so good for the Bulldogs. Jermaine Burton was a stud wide receiver under Bennett a season ago before he transferred to Alabama, and he'll likely be an NFL draft prospect next year. George Pickens was also on the roster. Lad McConkey has been a favorite target of Bennett's this season. The 2021 Georgia team was really just so stacked, and it led to an NFL record 15 players being selected at the 2022 NFL Draft. All were on defense. Kirby Smart is a mastermind, and the Bulldogs had a crazy roster, and that's going to discredit whatever Bennett did at Georgia. He is going to be a very interesting prospect for the 2023 NFL Draft. I think he's very intriguing. There is no doubt that he doesn't have the same physical tools as the best guys in the class, and his ceiling isn't very high. That's just the reality, but it doesn't mean that he can't carve out a career in the NFL. He almost seems like a textbook NFL backup. Bennett has instincts and ability to be a leader. Sets and Bennett, at best, he's probably a fifth to a seventh round pick. There is a chance he goes undrafted, and if he does, I imagine that he would easily get an undrafted rookie contract. Bennett could be like a Cooper Rush type player, a guy a team doesn't have to pay a lot of money to and stays as a reliable backup. There seems to be one guy that Stetson Bennett continues to get comparisons to, that's Case Keenum. Keenum was good in college at Houston, but went undrafted. Keenum has had a solid career, he's made some money, and he's in his 11th season as a backup in Buffalo, so that'd be great for Bennett. Stetson Bennett has had an amazing college career, and I think that's the extent of it. College football is such a different game than the NFL, and the story of Stetson Bennett is an amazing journey. It does show that an overlooked, undersized player can turn out a historic career, but things like that happen in college football. The talent disparity in college football can be massive depending on the situation. The SEC alone is just so much more talented than the other conferences, and Georgia is right up there at the top of the list of talent. The Bulldogs have dominated college football for the past two years, and it's been clear every step of the way that they were the most superior team. That was even more evident in the national championship game against TCU. The the fact that that was supposed to be the two best teams in the country is embarrassing, but it really did show how big of a disparity there is between Georgia and everyone else. Max Duggan looked amazing all year, and I'd even consider him as a similar rated prospect to Stetson Bennett, and he looked awful. I think Stetson Bennett was a solid quarterback at Georgia, but I do think he was carried to both of those national championships, and pretty much everybody would agree. He was good enough for what Kirby Smart asked of him, but nothing he did showed me he can be an actual NFL quarterback. He is a backup pro at the very best, and even then, I don't know if he'd be good enough for that role. Stetson Bennett is a college football legend, but that doesn't doesn't mean he's an NFL quarterback. 